Hello, welcome back to our channel. I'm Danielle. I'm Joelle. And this is baby Jordan. Jordan was born at 33 weeks. If you do not know our story, I will post a link. And um, basically, we got COVID as a family. At, I was 31 weeks pregnant. I wasn't able to breathe, went to the hospital. They had to deliver him by emergency C-section. It was a very scary time, but we are blessed and we're both here and he's just so perfect. He was only in the NICU for 18 days. It was so good. He, he, he never came out with COVID, thank God. And he just kept just hitting all those um, milestones. milestones. Yeah, like getting the feeding tube removed, learning to eat. That was the last thing. The car seat test. Like, There's just so much that he just did so good at. Um, he just had his six-month doctor appointment with his pediatrician. Uh, he doesn't see anybody special. He has normal doctor appointments. They um, weighed him at 14 pounds, 11 ounces. That's so great. Like, I was not expecting that. I, like, thought he was going to be, like, 12 pounds or something. Like, I was really shocked. <laughs> but uh, super, <laughs> super happy. Um, he's doing so good. His height is in the third percentile, which by saying that he's finally on the boys graph, growth chart graph, he was on the premature one. So he's moved up on his height, weight, and head circumference. So that's great. That means he's he's doing good. He still has a long way to go on his growth, but he's doing really good. His weight is in the fifth percentile and his head circumference is in the 68th percentile. So that's a lot. You see this big head? I love it. It's so cute. You got a big brain in there. You're going to be smart, huh? You're going to be a smart boy. He is just, oh, he's growing so much. It, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, okay. It's just amazing to watch him grow, especially now that we're having... Now that we have a second child, he watches Jalen, and it's just, it's so different this time around. We do want to do a video too for, well, because we had two children under two. Jalen is now two years old, but like, what's happening? Sometimes he does that to like play around. His doctor appointment went really well. He, the doctor had nothing but great things to say about him. He, she said he looks like a normal six month baby. He's doing great. Um, there was, you know, if you're a parent, you know that when you go to these appointments, they give you a list of things to check off that he's doing to see where he stands. And what's happening, man? Um, and for the first time, there was a couple things I wasn't able to check off. It said, is he passing a toy from hand to hand? He's not doing that. Um, it asked if it, if he's putting two vowels in in a sent well not a sentence but like you know ma da like I'm like no he's not doing that I mean he does make a lot of sounds and she gave me some examples which I don't remember what they were but she said that's good that that he's doing well and now if you think about it he was born two months early so his adjusted age is only four months but because he was born at 33 weeks he's six months okay. But he looks really good. He, he's getting gaining weight really well. He's in size one diapers. And uh, his clothes, I think it's three months and sometimes three to six. He can, some of them still fit in zero to three. Um, it just depends. Because you know, like with clothing and wherever you are in your age, like some clothing run big, some run small. So he, he's a little bit everywhere, but his diapers have been consistent. They are um, size one. So here are the things that Jordan is currently doing. Uh, he started rolling over, which has been fun. Um, it's been cute to see, but also a little bit scary because sometimes we'll have him on the couch or on a swing. And we just gotta make sure we keep an eye on him so that he doesn't fall off the couch or off the swing, things like that. Hey buddy, he's doing that. <laughs> Sucking his thumb and his fingers. He's just a happy boy. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to smile and laugh. And he started touching his feet, um, which is something that we love to see him do. Um, just kind of lifting up his legs and 
And not sucking his toes yet, but no. probably wants to sometime soon. And um, he uh, stands up. Obviously, you can see him right now. He stands mm -hmm. up with assistance. Um, sometimes I even let him go for a split second to see if he'll <laughs> if he's still standing. Of course, I'm holding on to him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he also started doing uh, blowing raspberries. You know, like whatever when they blow out of their mouth. <laughs> and he's also not on premium formula anymore. Uh, we're giving him one uh, from Costco. That's what is it called? I think it's the Kirkland brand. Kirkland brand, but it's made by Similac. Um, so doctors approved that that one was good for him to transition to. We kind of had to like transition slowly out of the preemie um, so we would give him like some of the regular and some of the preemie and then like kind of reduce the amounts as time went and then eventually he was good to be without the preemie formula um, which is nice because uh, preemie formula is a little more pricier um, it also comes in a, a smaller container than the Costco does um, so it's definitely uh, and we had even more uh, calories Oh, yeah. Adjusting the calorie. You want to yeah. talk about that? Sure. Um, we started at 24 calories, right? Yeah. When he was in the NICU, it was 24 calories. And when we got home, I believe. Yep. And then it slowly, we went down to 22, which I think he's still at 22. Because I think the normal calories um, is 20. So he's doing really good. He's gaining weight good. He's just... He's eating more. <laughs> He's eating more ounces in a bottle. Uh, we let him eat whenever he wants, you know, like, because we want this baby to grow. <laughs> but he's just, he's doing great. He loves his brother. He gets excited for him. And he adores his daddy. Don't you? <laughs> we tried putting him in new toys recently, too. Like, what is that thing called? Mm, I think it's called, like, a... Pop and jump or something. Yeah, we could we could insert a photo. Um, yeah, he He's, he kind of likes it, but then he grows tired of it pretty quickly. Yeah, he doesn't last long at all. <laughs> um, he stands really strong in it though. Yeah. He just he likes to be held a lot and. Um, I don't know. I'm waiting for him to crawl though. I think he's gonna crawl soon because now that he's rolling over. He will be in different areas. Like, he's just wiggling like a little worm. A little caterpillar, huh? Yeah. And I, I wanted to actually share really quick something funny that I was talking to Daniel about this morning, about his, his cry, because a lot of times doctors or, or people will say, just let your baby cry it out if they're crying in bed or trying to sleep. And so far we've been pretty unsuccessful letting this one cry it out. I, I, I called his first cry phase one, where he's just kind of like, you know, bugging and just annoyed and crying. And then phase two is where he reaches this scream where it's like he's in utter pain and just <laughs> really, really upset. And then phase three is when he's crying so hard that he makes himself choke. And then we have no other choice but to come and check him out to make sure he's doing okay. And I was telling Danielle, that's him being like, yes, I got it. I got him. <laughs> Yeah. So he plays games with us. But he does sleep all night. Now that you, like, you made me think about that. He is sleeping all night, but he is still, like, getting up around two. Like, he'll wake up, I'll be asleep, and I'll hear him talking. Just doing his little coos, and I give him the pacifier, and he goes back to sleep. That happens anywhere from two to three times a night. But he's never crying. He doesn't take bottles anymore. So we're, we're getting there. And mm -hmm. eventually we want to um, put him in in his room with his brother so I'm not sure when that's gonna happen and the pacifier is actually something that is a little bit new for us because Jalen didn't like the pacifier he was never really into it and I think one of the reasons why Jordan likes and wants the pacifier is because he was in the NICU and they would give him the pacifier um, throughout that time so he kind of grew up a little bit on that yeah so I wouldn't say like he like cries for it or mm -hmm. anything or like he begs for it. Like even way. right now he's like just using it as a teething toy. But it definitely does calm him down and it helps put him to sleep, which is helpful. 
So I think that's that's it. I think we covered all the bases. I am going to insert a little video montage of him from the NICU to now. I already know it's going to make me cry. I want, I just want to share with you guys a little bit of what we went through. It won't be too long. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You said my much for joining us and watching this and staying up to date with little Jordan we want to do this again to keep keep you guys in the know of where he's at for all those people that are parents of preemies we are really blessed that he was not worse off um, he did really good he, he did really good and, and we're so proud of him and we just want to do that for the parents that are struggling with their preemies but thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to stay up to date on all our videos. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.